I'm live here at Zavodsky's. This place is where it's rocking, it's where the meat's at. And we're talking all about the safety precautions that you're going to want to take before you wheel that grill out and get started on the spring season. Certainly doesn't feel like it this morning, but it's going to start feeling like it soon. Dave, let's uh, good we morning. Got, good morning. Oh, I shake your hand, but we're going to be getting some work here. What's some of the tips that people need to know when they go ahead and, and they first re roll their grill out and get ready for the spring season? Give it a good cleaning. Um, check your, take your grates off. Check, check uh, uh, all your gas connections. Take, just take a good look at it and just get it ready like you, you know, and just make there's no leaks, things like that. So let's go ahead, let's lift the lid right sure. here on your grill right here. So you want to make sure that this is all cleaned off. Obviously, we've been cooking all morning, guys, mm -hmm. and so there's a little bit of a little bit of deliciousness that's on the grill right there. But when you first bring this bad boy out, you want to make sure that those grates are, are nice and clean, right? Yep, nice and clean. Make sure, like I said, uh, look down, make sure every your flames are nice and blue. Uh, you don't want to see no big flare spots because you might need some new burners. So we cook out all year, but uh, so, as you can see, it's nice and hot. So once you've gone ahead and you've got all your, your meat on the grill and your grill's all set to go, as far as safety goes, there's safety precautions while you're cooking, and that has to do with the temperature of the meat, right? Sure. You want to make sure things like brats and chicken uh, are at 165 when they're done. Uh, ground meats like burgers, you want to go to 155. So you definitely e. coli. you want to make sure that you have that that meat thermometer in your pocket right. ready to go whenever you're going. So that's your 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 best friend oh, right there. That is your best friend. A lot of people will go like they'll they'll say when the juices are clear, that's a good way to do it. But if you want to make sure, just get one of these stick meat thermometers, put it in. Put it in one of these delicious yeah. burgers right here. There we go. And we're getting a little measure for it right there and it's going up. It looks like it's going to be safe to eat, and guess what, guys? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's perfect right where it's at. We're going to be talking about deliciousness when we come back, and I'm not even going to wait, guys. The one ingredient, the supreme ingredient on all these, bacon. And you know what? There is a big trend as far as grilling for the spring, and I'm talking with Dave Zawatsky from Zawatsky's. And uh, you, uh, you got a little interesting idea for us today since I was getting you up so early, but I'm already up at this time. You had a pretty good idea for uh, some good hey, spring cookout. That's right. Um, you're you're in the middle of your day, and I'm in the beginning. You made me get up at four in the morning. I'm sorry. So, uh, hey, that's all right. But we're cooking with bacon. We're cooking with bacon. Let's take a look at what we're actually cooking with, and uh, describe to me what what people should be grilling right. this spring. We've got bacon in it, on it, and around it on these things. We've this is our bacon wrap pork tenderloin kebabs. Bacon cheddar brats. So a bacon cheddar brat. So there's there's bacon and cheddar bacon in and the cheddar brat. In that, uh, we have our double bacon uh, cheeseburger. Uh, these little guys are 50/50 sliders. These are 50% Angus sirloin and 50% ground bacon. They're how, awesome. How, how do you do that? How do you make that happen? Well, we got this thing called a meat grinder at the store, and we run our. our uh, our Angus sirloin and our bacon through together, mix it and make patties out of it. And you would think that when you're grilling bacon and, and meat like that together, you would end up getting some sort of greasiness oh, with no. it. I'll, I'll tell you what, the sirloin is so lean and, and the bacon obviously, you know, there's fat to it, but there's also, there's lean to it. And it just becomes a very, very nice flavor to it. It's great. We saw a ton of these things. And I like that one right there. What's that? That's our chicken medallions. That is a marinated chicken breast uh, wrapped in bacon. And that is really delicious looking. And guys, at, and on sale at Zabotsky's at 99 cents. On sale for 99 cents a piece. Bacon is in for the spring. The snow is coming down right now, but spring is on its way. And those are the tips you could use to have a delicious spring grill cookout.